Hey folks, what's up? My name is Noah Chrysler, the RIT Newsman, and this is the 2017 Career Fair. We are here with... Manny Contaminolis. The Career Fair is just is a big opportunity for employers to connect with RIT students. One of the things that will happen today is a number of companies, almost a hundred of them, uh, will be staying to actually interview candidates that they meet today, tomorrow, here on campus. We are here with the Postal Service. You guys work for the Post Office, yes? Yes. Can I ask a couple questions about like being a mailman? So we are here with Darren Schultz from the FBI. Can you say it like you're like in a movie, like Darren Schultz, FBI? Darren Schultz, FBI. If one was to become a mailman, could you give us like the steps of the ladder? Sure. <laughs> what do you exactly do for the FBI? Right now I'm handle the recruiting and the hiring for the FBI, particularly the special agent position. What does the special agent do? Am I allowed to know? The special agent position, it's an investigator. We do uh, a lot of investigative work where our job is to enforce federal law. Is it as exciting as it looks on TV? Uh, television can glamorize things pretty well, but when you can say and look back on a career and not have any regrets, yeah. that's what the FBI is. You, you, most people will never have a regret that they've made this their career. Postal Service is very big on diversity. We're the second largest employer in the country with 600,000 um, employees. Oh man, I want to be a mailman. But you know what? The average length of service for a postal employee is 27 years. Wow. Probably longer than you've been alive. Yeah. No, it is. <laughs> I'm a little boy. So we are here with a Microsoft employee, and your name is? Daniel. I went to school at RIT, but uh, I now work at the headquarters of Microsoft, which is out in Seattle, Washington. As far as like internships, you're probably going to end up working out there. You, do you guys have like a little nepotism? Is that okay to like be like, oh, I want to recruit for my, for my alma mater here? I mean, that's why do you think I came back? We are here with? Rajas Vicen. And Brad Turnbull. There are a lot of RIT alum in my uh, division. This is my first career fair, so I'm a little bit nervous myself. I love yeah, it. uh huh. I love it. Everybody around here is nervous too, so don't worry at all. It's like, what do you think is a really good thing to do at the career fair, and what do you think is a really bad thing to do at the career fair? Bring your best self. If you've got a bunch of stuff that I have to browse through to find like the one thing that we actually want to talk about, not useful, right? Make it easy. Make it quick for me to read. Just be yourself. Be comfortable. Ask a lot of questions. Show interest in the job and you'll do well. Eye contact. Okay. Definitely make eye contact. Don't wear your sunglasses while you're talking to the recruiters. Knowing the company that you're going to speak with and not coming up and asking, what do you do? I hate the quick story. Yeah? I do. I hate it. It sounds canned. I it does. I hate it too. I'm so bad at it. Hi, I'm so-and-so and this is what I did. Don't oh, do that yeah, to me. You just awesome. rattle it off and I'm like, no, nah, I don't really yeah. want to hear that because I can see that on your resume more than likely. I want to know about you. <laughs> We are here with Josh, Joseph, Richie, and you guys mentioned that you are here for the free stuff. Do you think the toys are a good part of the career fair? Like, do you think they're an important part? Uh, I think it helps the candidate memorize, you know, the experience that they had at the booth. Can you give me some tips on how to find free stuff at the career fair? Just have no shame. No shame whatsoever. And just grab it. We are here with Lieutenant Commander Jonathan Ostanek with the U.S. Navy. That is awesome. And uh, you are in charge of recruiting for the Navy? Uh, I, that is correct. This is my resume right here. We're going to hand it to employers, have them kind of look down through all of our things here. The things I'm going to look for directly are what's your current major um, and what's your GPA. Right. For. Definitely. Um, so GPA is huge. Yeah. Um, Mine's not on there. Yeah. You can say that. That's, yeah. It's true. <laughs> it's not on there. That's all right. Bachelor of Science in New Media Marketing. That's good. Um, that, kinda, that tells me a lot about what we can do for you. These other things are great to look at the projects and activities. Contact information is huge, an email address and phone number, which you've got. Um, perfect. Thank you very much. So out of 10, out of 10, rate me hard, rate me hard. I want to apply for, to be in the Navy. What do you rate me? It's probably going to be very low. It's totally OK. What would you say? 7.5. Really? I'm impressed. We do take all, all majors. And you're a person who, who gave us a resume, say you've interest. And we don't turn people down for that. with Mark Brown at the water cooler. It's very warm out there. There's a lot of people out there, and I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but let's see if I can wing it. You kind of look like Pinocchio today, Josh. Thank like, you. Can you give us the breakdown? You're wearing suspenders from where? Uh, Jack Threads. Oh, I like this Tyrannosaurus Rex bow tie. Thank you. 
feel like you're gonna look for a job as like uh, some sort of like wood shop worker that makes toys, dude, or like a sexy archaeologist. Yes, you look good. Who are you wearing? Give us the rundown. J Crew. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to find out more, go like our page to find out when we make a new video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.